Holy, holy. Holy, holy. This is the annual the practice, DJ. Are you actually doing that? Yep, superstition now. <laughs> And, from here and this on has got to barely be touching. And if it and is, from this day on, Bullock scored no goals. <laughs> <laughs> it's been several weeks now where the St. Mary Spartans have had to play each and every game like their careers depended on it. From 4 6 and 2 at the midway point of the season to on the cusp of a playoff berth, every practice and every game have never been more crucial. Yo, get out there, everyone. You gotta go. What? Yeah, no spots. What are you doing that for, huh? Come on. What are we doing? Yeah. All right. Moved up in the rankings a little bit. People are up, up, up at around 15 now. So up in the top 16, which means you would get a home game in the first round, the top 32. You would get a home game because you're in the top 16. Oh, all right. that the boys are preparing for the annual CCL tournament, played amongst the top four ranked Central Catholic League teams, for which the Spartans are its defending champions. And this wouldn't be a show about a Massachusetts hockey team without this song. Assistant coaches Doug Surrett, Matt Smith, and Devin Anno lead today's session. The 36-year coaching veteran isn't just the bench boss, he's also a police officer for the city of Lynn. Rather than the cozy confines of the home barn in Lynn, tonight's tilt with Arlington Catholic is being played at Essex Sports Center in Middleton, Mass. It's hard enough to beat a team twice, let alone three times. St. Mary's has won both matchups this season with AC 4-0 and 3-1, having to come from behind in the third period of the second game. I think it's important to understand, and let, let's get it out there, um, if there's anybody in here sitting in this room that feels because we have beaten them twice that it's going to be just get on the ice and it's going to be both those games were very competitive um, and it's important to understand the fact that we need points it's regardless of our opponent for tournament situations we need as many points as we can to go up okay and so this is a very very big game and it's important that you prepare like it's a big game Never mind the fact, what is this game? Uh, 18, 19, right? You got one week left. 
Next week's your last regular season week. Anybody that was holding or saving anything, not that they're saving for now, you gotta leave it all on the ice. Cause you're gonna blink your eyes and next week's gonna be over. And the season's over. And then it's whatever we get in the seedings. And that will be determined by things like tonight. So the higher we're up, the better it is for us. Two very important points tonight. We need everybody with their game faces on. Okay, so we're just gonna go refresh a couple of things. Uh, and one last thing, one thing that we've been struggling with is a quick start, first period, right? We're finding ourselves going out there, just going through the motions early. And sometimes we've been behind because of it. And now we have to come back. Let's come out quick tonight. This is a team that, as much as you're relaxed because you beat them twice, they're going to be that much more hungrier tonight because they want two points from St. Mary's. Yo. You can stand, you can stand. They did just do it. Without us, no, we're doing it as a family. In the name of the Father, Son, Holy Spirit, Amen. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil, Amen. Father, Son, Holy Spirit, Amen. Thank you. 
So you had one lousy first period, not lousy, but not good. Then you come out and you started paying attention to detail. Um, the little things. You saw the zone entries were pretty good, and even the ones that didn't work, you were trying. You could see that you were trying to set up. Um, the faceoffs were 8 3, were they? Uh, yeah, 8 3. Eight we three. Won. So that's a big improvement. And uh, the line changes were far better, quicker, smoother, uh, and it just makes everything flow better when you're on your ship, when you're playing with your line mates and you're not out there for a minute and 30 seconds and dragging. But what I did like at the very end looked like what was more important to the guys out there the last couple of minutes were uh, the fifth goal rather than them scoring. We don't need the fifth goal. But the fifth goal, goal will come if you play very solid defense. And, you know, we don't want to start running up and down the ice giving them an opportunity to get back in it. So play solid defense, take the offense when it comes. Okay, very simple. Know how to win, know how to close it out. Stop running and gunning with a team you're up four goals on. So that's a disaster waiting to happen. The other, the other thing, gentlemen, is um, they're down four. They might get a little chippy. We don't want to lose guys. We'll just, if you finish the way you should, we'll be facing Austin Prep next. Okay, so we want a full team. I don't. We don't need any bull bullshit. This season's falling apart. So I'm sure there's a couple of guys out there that might not be as disciplined as you need to be. So skate away. That's all we'll say. Skate away. Hey, we asked for the boys to score some goals tonight, huh? What was that about? Uh, you can't beat the same team three times. What was that? What was that? Easy money. Bring up an A squad, fellas. Bring up an A. There we go. Finally. Hey, three people with two goals tonight. We got Calder. Toro Chidi, out here the youngest one, Calder. Yeah! I gave you a buck, right? Yeah. For, uh, who's that? Driscoll. Driscoll. All right. They gave the belt. They gave the belt to Caldo. Caldo? Okay. Yo, hey, hey, hey. We're gonna play um, against Austin Thursday at seven o'clock up at their place at Breakaway. Okay. Again, it was nice to actually put some points on the board today. It was good to see everybody get involved. And as you broke that team down, it got better and better because you just kept going. And it was really good to see some nice play from the younger guys. Uh, some really good plays. 
um, in, in even that fourth line power play that we had, passing the puck and, and creating an awesome scoring opportunity and a nice finish. Uh, so um, it really looked good today. It really did. Coaches still get us up yeah. there yet? Yeah, Boys, yeah, yeah, we got it. Uh, hey, we, we oh, had. Oh, oh. Shout out, right? Yeah. Yeah. I don't want to tell you, after the second going into the third, I mentioned the shout out thing and I, he was going to kill me. Yeah, you don't say that. Hey, seriously though, we had, we had two tight games with them, with that team. Then you blow them out eight nothing. Just shows how much better of a team you are than what you've shown in the past. All right. So let's keep this rolling. Go into Austin and take some points out of there. All right. We're the team to beat. Come out angry. All right. Let's go. Pretty cool. It was fun for everyone. But guys, you're gonna be in for the battle of your life on uh, battle of your life on Thursday night. It's another fun game. The next three games, you're playing high-level, top-tier state tournament teams, right? All the teams that are ranked above 15. Central Catholic, right? Austin Prep coming up next, ranked fourth in the state. These are the games that you want to be in Why you came to St. Mary's. Now we need to gel together as a family and freaking let's do it, right? Do it together, right? We're on a good road right now. We've been climbing the mountain for a while. Let's keep climbing, right, fellas? Tough to be a team three times in a row. I'm a knower. I'm a knower. I know it. You want me taking Driscoll? Yeah. Driscoll, hurry up. I need you now. Be a team three times in a row. Yep. Tough to be a team three times in a row. A good team, right? Tough to be a good team three times in a row. Let's go. You're going to be here. You're the right one. I mean, you're the right handed shot. Face off comes back to two. All right? These guys are going to make sure it gets back to two. Come in and help out. With each tilt, the Spartans have been steadily gaining ground little by little to Austin Prep. The hope is tonight they can finally push past the top-ranked team in their conference and keep the CCL Cup with St. Mary's for the second year in a row. So, I always like to start this time of the year with uh, what what game is this? Is this game 20? 20 games in, in a 22 game season. So, we've all been through a lot, more good than bad, and I think we've learned a lot over the course of that, and we're still learning, and we're still trying to improve. Um, uh, there's not a lot of things you can say pre-game, because We've already done so much together. We've had some really good practices. We've come up with some good schemes. A lot of thought goes into these games. And now it becomes time for you, the student, to go out and, and show us 
your school, your families, what you've learned. We need some hockey IQ out there today. We're not just banging pucks around. We need to outwork our opponent today. That's key, outwork them. And how do you outwork them? You win the one-on-one -on -one battles. And your eyes are always up, seeing the ice, making play with the puck, and when in doubt, you just get it out when it's in our zone, chipping pucks to safe areas if we get ourselves in a little bit of trouble. Let's keep the shift short. One thing we've learned is we're a better team full strength than short-handed. And we need to be smart today. Every face-off matters. It's going to be a marathon, one shift at a time. Come off that shift feeling confident in your play, knowing that you've just gave it. But you got to keep those shifts to 30, 40 seconds because of the marathon. Okay, we're not winning this game in the first period. It's going to take all three periods. Support each other. Not too high, not too low, right? Up loose, as coach says, right? All of these things. But have some pride in your game today. Don't accept anything but your best. Okay, and let's just be the smarter, more disciplined team today. And let's have some fun. In the name of the Father, Son, Holy Spirit, amen. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Let's go, boys. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. All you gotta think about is defense right now. We're gonna go in at the end and we're gonna shut down for Sunshine. All right, every single one of us, wings especially. All right, you're not letting any shots get from the points. You're covering that guy. If you don't have a one hand rush, you gotta dump the puck deep. You have to. Like, we can't turn it over. New boys, this is the game where Smart wins the game we have to be smart the whole game it doesn't matter that they're they might be buzzing on us be smart ship that puck out we get a change let's go keep on going their offense they have guys up front of the net sometimes even two there's one there's one deal front we need the center someone else helping out out front because they're shooting rebounds are there and they're and then they almost scored because the guy right over the net d is behind the net that center needs to pick up that guy that can't happen